Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, recently I think everybody has seen the Google I.O. announcement of 2024 and Google has specifically released many, many variants of Gemini model. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about a model which is called as Paligamma and I hope I'm pronouncing it right. We'll be talking about this specific model, what this model actually does. Uh, it is also a complete open source model. You know, and uh, we'll also be discussing how to, we can actually implement it and how we can use it from Hugging Face. Okay, so all those things I will be specifically discussing in this particular video. So to start with, uh, Polygamma is an open vision language model and uh, this is completely open source. Uh, that basically means you can put up images, you can get information from that specific images and all. Uh, it is a powerful open VLM. Okay, so if you don't know about VLM, please, I would suggest go ahead and read this particular research paper, Poly3 Vision Language Model, smaller, faster and stronger. Uh, here you can see that uh, vision uh, VLM is nothing but vision language model that compares favorably to smaller models that are 10x larger, right? So uh, this is smaller, faster, you'll be able to see with respect to the response, it is very much quick, it is very much amazing itself, right? Uh, more information regarding this will be provided over here. I will be putting the link in the description of this particular video. In the upcoming video, we'll also be talking about Gamma 2, uh, which will be a next generation performance and efficiency model, okay? So to start with, uh, what we really need to do is that I will, I will, I have opened this particular notebook file, and then we will try to access this, and we'll try to show you how you can use Polygamma with transformers using Hugging Face. So here you can see Polygamma is a new vision model released by Google. In this notebook, we'll see how to use transformer for Polygamma inferences. So first thing first, you need to install accelerate bits and bytes and the transformer library that is the recent one over here. So as soon as the installation will be taking place, the next thing will be that just go to hugging face okay and search for the same model that is polygamma okay 3b mix 224 here you will be getting an option first of all you need to be granted the gamma model access okay so if you go to hugging face let's say i'm going to hugging face okay and here if i go ahead and search for gamma model okay so if i probably go ahead and search for gamma so you can see google 7b uh, gamma 7b 2b so i'll just search for one now initially you need to be granted access to this particular model okay uh, if you get this kind of message that basically means you have granted the access from the hugging face otherwise you will be getting a button over here to request the specific model okay so once you probably click on request you will be getting the success of this particular model itself because you need to select some terms and conditions over there and then you have to probably go ahead with it so once you are able to do that, then you'll be able to get the access of this particular model. So now the installation has taken place. What I'm actually going to do is that I'm going to go ahead and access this Hugging Face Hub and I will just go ahead and import notebook login, login so that I will be able to access the Hugging Face itself. So here it says you to probably take the Hugging Face token. Okay, so I will just go ahead and click on this. And once you probably click on that link, you'll be able to go and see the token. This is from my Hugging Face account. So I will copy this and I will paste it over here, okay? And then let me just go ahead and click on login. So once this is logged in, that basically means your login is successful. Now, what we are going to do is that understand Polygamma is for a vision model, right? Vision text model. So here you can probably see what exactly is Polygamma. It is a vision language model. That basically means whenever you give a more uh, images, and you ask any question regarding the images, you should be able to get the answer. So I'm going to use one image over here. So here you can probably see Hugging Face data set, some images there. And I'm asking what is the color of the flower that the bee is standing on, okay? So for that, I'll be importing torch, numpy, image, and request, okay? And this is how the image looks like. And here is the honeybee that is sitting on the top of the flower. So I'm just going to ask the question, what color is the flower that the bee is standing on? Okay, and it should be able to talk, tell me, okay, the color of the flower is pink. Okay, so we will just go ahead and execute this. First of all, my image will be ready in this particular input image. Now, <clears throat> I have to execute this code where I will be loading the Polygamma model. So for that, I will be requiring auto tokenizer. Okay, then I will be specifically requiring the Polygamma for conditional generation. Because of this library, we will be able to load the model that we are specifically calling and the model that we are going to use is Google slash Polygamma 3B Mix 224. That is the 3 billion parameter model. Then along with that, whenever you use uh, any kind of model from Hugging Face, you also need to load the same processor that is Polygamma processor, okay, which will be able to process the entire information out it. 
So here initially we will go ahead and set up the device. Uh, the device is usually set to CUDA in Google Colab. I have CUDA available, so I will be using CUDA. Along with that model ID is over here. This is the model ID that I'm going to use. You can go and search for it. So this is the model that you have. If you want to probably see the code, how to use it in transformer. So here we'll be able to see this is the code that you can actually use, right? Auto model training or any other things. If you want to go ahead with transformer, otherwise here also you'll be able to see the code, how you can basically load it, right? Polygamma conditional generation, all the code is basically given over here. So I will go ahead and load this particular model. Along with this, I'll be using this Polygamma for conditional generation dot from pre-train by providing model ID. Torch D type is torch.float16. And then I will also load the processor. For processor also, I'll be going to use the same function that is from pre-train model underscore ID and it'll load the processor part over here. So as soon as you execute, it will take around four to five minutes to download the entire model in your Google Colab. Then what I will do, I will use the same processor, give my text input image, uh, input text. Then I'll give my input image. I'll do, I'll perform some padding because see, as soon as I give the image, I need to probably convert that image into vectors, right? And then we will do some padding on that. And then we also uh, need to set this as do convert RGB is equal to true. And we are going to return the tensor in the form of PT dot to CUDA. That dot to CUDA basically means it is going to execute entirely in the GPU, right? And finally, when I write model dot two underscore device, sorry, two device, that basically means it is going to execute on that device. And finally, we are going to set that D type to this particular inputs. So once I execute it, you'll be able to see now, you will be getting an inputs in the form of key value pairs, right? Two important things you have over here. One is the input ID in the form of tensors. Okay. So here, there's all our padding, right? Padding. And this is the text information. Here you can probably see text that is getting converted into vectors. Okay. And then you can also see attention mask is basically getting applied. I think it should be using transformers. And these are my pixel values of the images, right? These are my pixel values of the images. So this is my image information, right? This input ID is basically my text information with padding applied over here. And now we are going to see what we can actually do. Now we can pass in our pre-processed input. So I'm writing with torch.nograd model.generate. I'm giving my input and the max length I'm setting it to 496. You can also set it to some other value. And finally, this output that you'll be seeing will be the output of the text that I'm going to generate along with the padding, right? So this entirely information that you'll be able to see is my text output. And based on the number of vectors, each vector is represented by one word. So how many vectors are basically there? That many number of words will get displayed. Now, in order to convert this output into text, we again have to use the processor and we will decode the output of zero, okay? And we'll just skip the special tokens true. Like all these special tokens will be removed. So once I execute it, you'll be able to see what color is the flower that the bee is standing on. It will be pink and I can basically play, uh, display the pink. Now, similarly, any images that you take, this is one of the images that I've actually taken. I'm just asking what is the tree being held by? So obviously hands are there. So let's do the same thing over here. This will basically be my input image. I will do the same thing with the help of processor. And again, I will try to generate the output, right? So here you can see what is the tree being held by? Here you can probably see the output. That is nothing but hands. Now understand one thing you can try out with any images. You can probably convert that into an end-to-end project and do multiple things. Probably uh, we'll see, right, in the future. I hope everybody has seen Grok inferencing engine, right? So in the Grok inferencing engine, I think if open source is there, definitely open source can also be included over there. And if you have seen my playlist of quantization, how, what is fine tuning and all, I think everybody knows how to load a model in 4-bit. So we will be using bits and bytes. You can also load the model with the help of that so that you will require less space. You can just go ahead and execute these three lines of code. And by that, see this first line is basically to load the model in 4-bits. Then you have all the setup like that, CUDA and all, right? From pre-trained model ID, I'm calling this. Quantization is basically applied over here with this N4 underscore config, which is basically stored over here, right? Over here. And then finally, you'll be able to get the output. So go ahead and try it out. I hope you are following my playlist of fine tuning. So definitely you'll be able to understand over there. So yes, this was it for my side. I hope you like this particular video. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you and all. Take care. Bye-bye.